All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is. If you know the intro, say it with me. Yes, sir. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Tay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Temp, coming to you live with another video. Uh, we don't have any scripted today, man. Maybe I should start doing more scripted videos and stuff like that, but I don't have it, so we're just going to one-take Jake this one, and uh, that's how we do it. A lot of my videos are one-take Jake, and I've explained to people that my videos are longer, and they are one-take Jake because... I have like a real job, so I don't have a whole lot of time to edit my videos and break them down into concise molecules and all that stuff. So with that being the case, I just have to I just have to put on this put on the uh, gameplay and just talk over it. And uh, it's just old school, like the Call of Duty days. And speaking of Call of Duty, we want today what we're talking about is Apex Legends. Is it the Fortnite killer? I can tell you the answer right now. After playing that game for a week, it's a resounding no. Is it a good game? Yes. Is it an awesome game? It is a phenomenal game. It's more than awesome. The game is one of the best games I've ever played in my life. And I've played a whole lot of games. I'm, a, I'm, a old, I'm an old man. I'm an old, old man. So I've played a lot of games. But what that game really reminds me of, it takes me back to the Call of Duty Modern Warfare and Modern Warfare 2 days. When they first came out with Modern Warfare, that was a game that everybody, that was a what do you call a system buyer game or, or whatever. It was, it was a game that made you buy the system. So when you got when you got an Xbox, when Modern Warfare came out, everybody was going to buy an Xbox and they were going to um they were going to buy Xboxes and they were going to to, to to just play that game. A lot of people bought Xboxes just for Modern Warfare. My wife even bought an Xbox just for Modern Warfare. And then the next day, I mean the next year, two years later when Modern Warfare 2 came out, it was so awesome because she already had an Xbox. We were playing Modern Warfare 2. She was getting rocked. I was winning games. And, you know, I was carrying her. And it was great. Now, I'm not going to lie. My wife is an awesome domination player. She's an awesome domination player. But Team Deathmatch just was not her forte. I'm not... Exactly. If Team Deathmatch was not her forte, she'll tell you that right now. But man, it was so many times we would play domination. And she could... I don't know how she would do it, but she would be able to find routes. She would be able to find routes to different parts of the map so she could get to B or get to C or cap to point so we could keep on fighting. And it was always, it always worked together well. The only thing about Modern Warfare 2 that used to make me mad was the doggone nuke. Is that, I mean, we, we win it and then somebody get a nuke and then we lose the game. And that's the only time we ever really lost in domination with our COD family. But I mean, with Apex Legends, it's that same type of feeling with Call of Duty. It's like you're, you can't wait to get off you can't wait to come home, and you can't wait to play this game because the game is just that good. I feel like that right now. But like I said, this is a Fortnite killer. No. The reason that I feel like this game is so good is because the people that make the game made Modern Warfare 2, made Modern Warfare. These are the fun, the most fun Call of Duties, but they are by far not the best. I feel like Black Ops and like Black Ops 2 and 3 are some of the best Call of Duties, especially Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2. Come on in here, boy. Uh, Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2. But Modern Warfare 2 is by far the most fun. Except for when you got into the noob tube libraries and things like that. When you got into noob tube libraries and people weren't even trying to shoot you and you start slapping people and they're just like, you know what? I'm just going to, I I know I'm tubing. When people started doing that, and I know a lot of people in, in, the, in the comments, you probably were those guys and it was a lot of fun to you. I'm pretty sure it was a lot of fun because you had danger close noob tubes. But the game had so many issues and it had very, very limited continued support because uh in the first couple of weeks what did we have we had the care package glitch we had the the 212 gators the model 1887s they were broken and uh they fixed those two things they never got around to fixing danger close and danger close noob tubes now they took that out of out of future games there was no danger close and uh they really almost took pretty much to have made you noob tubes completely useless in that game so i mean in those games so those things are gone and that's why like why Black Ops and Black Ops 2 were some of the best games because there was no BS deaths. So those are why they were the best games and they didn't care about if you were trash. If you were trash, you got destroyed. At least in Modern Warfare 2, if you were trash, you had a chance. And that's something that Apex Legends marries together. If you're trash, you don't have a chance at Apex Legends. But at the same time, you can still have fun at the game because there will be some guns that you can use. If you find a Spitfire, it doesn't matter if you're good or bad. You find a Spitfire, you're going to be able to kill people. Now, we'll be doing some videos on 
on how to get better at that game and how to properly play people and stuff like that. So don't worry about that. I'm gonna be posting Apex Legends and and um, this game right here and um, Fortnite. But is a Fortnite killer? No, I, I feel like Fortnite does so many things right. Woo, look at how trash I am. I think Fortnite does so many things correctly that it's go it, like any game that, that hopes to be a Fortnite killer, the one thing that you would have to be able to do first is find a way to to put altering the terrain in your game and make it be something that that's like Fortnite is or Fortnite esque. You'd almost have to bite the building system in Fortnite in order to be a Fortnite killer. Because what Fortnite does is let's just say, let's just be honest. It takes cartoonish gameplay, but really tight gunplay, right? So you got cartoonish gameplay. The only thing really cartoonish about it is the backdrop and some of the scenarios and then the skins and things like that. Those are cartoonish, but you have really tight gunplay mixed with that cartoonish gameplay and the cartoonish feel. And then you got the ability to alter, to, to alter the terrain at will. Now I call it altering the terrain, people just call it building, but I, I, I call it what it is, it's being able to alter the terrain and um, at, at will as long as you have the materials to do it. And I think that, that the way that they do that and mix it with the gunplay, it makes for situations where any other shooter, you can't match it. So this is something that's going to live until people just get sick of it. That with the continued support where they do things like, like they, 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 they aren't afraid to take risks. So they'll do something like put glider deploy in the game and put it into the ordinary game mode and go so far left with it. That's something that nobody really liked, nobody wanted, but they just had to see how it worked out. But they put it in there for about two or three weeks. And then some people liked it, some people liked it, some people didn't like it. So instead of taking it out of the game, you know what they did? They put it as a pickup item. I think that was genius. Like things like that will always have Fortnite ahead because they have continued support. And we know that they listen to the community. So if you if they do something that we don't like, all we, we don't even have to complain. Like in 2K, you gotta you have to literally sit here and complain and cry and whine until they may listen to you and change something. In Fortnite, all you have to do is go to the forum. And it's always been like this with Epic Games. I've been with Epic Games. If you go check my Epic Forum post, I got Epic Forum posts going back to like 2006. 2005, 2006, when Gears of War first came out, and we were putting out posts with Gears of War 2, um, you know, trying to get that game to be better. And Epic has always, listen, they've always done title updates. So when they got a game that's this big and it's free, and they have to keep continuous, continuously supporting it, of course they're going to do that because Epic, Epic's biggest thing has always been continued support of their games. I feel like that's the key to any franchise if you want to be successful is the ability or the or the willingness to continuously support the game continuously accept the fact that nobody makes a perfect product in the beginning that everything evolves with time and that you have to because things change with time and gaming changes so quickly and our attention span is so small you have to continuously adapt to what's new so with the late with the latest thing a lot of people have been getting third party right a lot of people are complaining about third party and there's really no way to combat it. So what did Epic do? They've, they've now implemented where you can, as soon as you get a kill, as you're gonna see right here, boom, you get a kill. Oh, I didn't get a kill. I didn't get killed, I got killed. So that guy just got 30 health, I mean 50 health or 50 shield. When you get a kill, you get 50 health or you get 50 shield if you already at max health. That That is something that the community has been talking about because everybody's been getting third party into oblivion. So. Hey, there you go, 50 shield. 50 shield or 50 health. You get something to continue to fight with because most of the time when you kill somebody, they probably, they may not have, man, I tried to get Francis right now, but it didn't work, so I just took the thing off of it. Anyway, uh, a lot of people, you just they may not have materials, they may not have, um, they may not have any health or anything like that, but that's something that just helps combat the third party because the third party in this game has gotten out of control. I'm not even gonna lie to you. And that's something that people do in in um, in Apex Legends as well. But the reason, like I said, the Apex Legends is so good is because the people that made Call of Duty, they made that game, they understand what it takes to um, to make a game, to make a game fun, to make to give you that feeling of, I can't wait to get off work and play this game. And that's where Apex Legends is right now. It's that game that everybody can't wait to play. Number one, it's free. They understand that if you give away a game for free, you you make the accessibility of the game, you maximize the accessibility of the game. So the only barrier to entry right now 
with uh with Apex Legends is the skill gap. It has a tremendous skill gap. You can't be trash and get you you can be trash and maybe get carried, but you're not gonna be trash at that game and be able to get some kills. You go you can get some kills in Fortnite if you're garbage. Like anybody can get kills in Fortnite. And that's part of the appeal, especially if you play the rumble mode. Like they have something for everybody. And that the inclusion is something that 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 makes Fortnite really fun. But the reason the Apex Legend is not a Fortnite killer is like I said, they don't have anything that can change like i said being able to build and alter the terrain at will is a game changer in this game just look at all of these extra houses and things that are on the map right now that you can make your own cover create your own cover move to your own cover move around the map in such a way that that you can use the ability to create cover to move around the map in such a way that you're not afraid to to be out in the open now though you can't build in apex legends that's something that Apex Legends does well, and that's what makes them a fast-paced battle royale. It's fast-paced because they take the they take the fear out of being shot first out of the game. So if you get shot first, there's every character in the game nearly has something that they can do in order to to nullify getting shot first. If you have uh, if you got lifeline, you can hide real quick and you can heal. If you've got uh, Bangalore, you shoot smoke and you can get away. If you've got uh, what Wraith. Was it what her name? Wraith? I forgot what her name is. But if you got Wraith or whatever her name is, you can go intangible and get away. If you've got the robot, um, you got the robot, you can shoot a shoot a, a grappling hook to the wall and pull yourself away uh, really quickly. Uh, Bangalore, if you even shoot at her, she starts moving fast and she's almost impossible to hit. Uh, you got uh, Fat Fat Man, uh, much fatness with the shield. Uh, he can he can pull out the shield and he can try he can nullify some shots. You've got so many things you can do, but that's why. That game is in the state that it's in. That's what makes it a really good battle royale. The fact that you can nullify the very first shot. That's what makes this game so great. You can nullify the other person's first shot and and you can recover and be able to do something. In Blackout, you can't do that. You get shot first, you're pretty much over with. PUBG, you can't do that. You get shot first, it's pretty much over with. It, it's, it's the games, the battle royales that take the fear of being shot first away those are the ones that are gonna be the most most successful because they are, they will be fast paced. People want fast paced gameplay. This game gives you some of the most fast paced gameplay that there is, and that's why because you can take your cover with you. And if I get shot first, I can recover. And the same thing for Apex Legends. If you get shot first, you can recover. In both games, if you get caught off guard, you're done. So if you can't shoot, if you don't have gun skill, you're probably gonna lose. But at the same time, it's more, it's much more so in Apex Legends because you can't build something. But you can get away if you get shot first, you get caught off guard. So that's why that game is so successful. It's gonna be successful. I will be playing and posting both games, but it is not by any means a Fortnite killer. And and like I said, besides continued support, the reason that we know it's not a Fortnite killer and it just can't be, number one. Fortnite is free. Anybody can play it. You don't even need a uh, plus to play it. So we got so much invested into these skins. I've got hundreds of dollars invested into these skins. The game is awesome. They keep listening to us, keep listening to the community. And it's just like one of those things where it doesn't have to be a Fortnite killer and we don't have to look at it like that. Why not just look at it like we have another game to play? It's another game to play. It's a fun game to play. It's a great alternative. When I get fed up with Fortnite, I'll go play Apex. When I get fed up with Apex, I'll come play Fortnite. I don't think I'll play either one exclusively. I don't think I would put Apex down to play Fortnite. I don't think I'll play put Fortnite down to play Apex. Apex is new right now, so yes, it's gonna have a lot of steam. A lot of people are gonna play it. A lot of people do like the superior gunplay. A lot of people do like the fact that people just can't build a whole house and protect themselves. It's, it's either you can play or you can't, and you're gonna die and if you make good decisions. Um, one thing a lot of people don't like is that one person, uh, one bad player can get the entire team killed. So that, that's that, there's that. But other than that, I think it's a really solid game. And as long as they continue to support it in a way that they supported the other games when they had the ability to continuously continuously support them, I think it'll be fine. But let me show you this right here. And I'm, I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna let you get up out of here and I'm gonna show you why it's not a Fortnite killer. It's not. It's not, nothing's gonna kill Fortnite other than Fortnite. Uh, and when Epic gets to the point where they stop listening to the community, then Fortnite will cease to live. That's, it's as simple as that. LJ, come here. Uh, it's as simple as that. Like, but Epic has always listened to the community. 
with Gears of War, a game that wasn't even that popular, they always listen to the community. They always, they always listen to the community. They always, um, they always did what we asked. They made the changes. And like I said, I've been an Epic Games supporter since, since Gears of War. But this right here, this item shop, stuff like this, you know, just new items every day. The third person makes it so that you can see your actual skins and stuff. This is why this game will never die as long as it's got continued support and it doesn't go down the the, uh, the trash barrel. So, you know, it is what it is. I got this skin yesterday. It's dope. Like I said, if you if you watch this video and you like this video, make sure you like the video. And, um, and just know, like I said, I want to gift you guys these skins and stuff like that. Make sure you become my epic friend. Go back and watch my item shop video. Once it gets to 200 likes, I'm going to buy this little whip for somebody or we're going to buy the uh, Super Striker. And, uh, hey, well, what's my dude's name? Uh, v Josh, hit me up, man. I'm going to buy you this skin, man. Don't worry about it. I'm going to get it for you before this thing runs out. But uh, anyway, I got to get up out of here. Like the video. Let me know what, you, what skin you want on the other video. And let me know if you think the Apex Legends is a uh, Fortnite killer or if Fortnite is going to be just fine or if you feel like there's space for both of them. So three, one of three things I want you to let me know. Is it a Fortnite killer? Do you Will you continue to play Fortnite exclusively or will you play both? Or, or have you switched over to Apex? I gotta get up out of here, man. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, Till next time, let's take them out, LJ. It's your boy, Jay Easy, AKA Fresh From The Barbershop, BK The People's Champ. Hello. Hello. 360 out this month.